Okay, so I just accidentally streamed all of that instead of recording it. So now I'm recording. So the first thing you need to do when you want to have a monster in your game with a character sheet from the Roll20 compendium is first you need to add a character. So this is going to be my ogre zombie. I'm going to hit save so that it's, the name is there. You're going to go to the character sheet and make it an NPC. Now it gives you like monster stats, but you don't have anything in there. So what you can do instead of typing everything out is you can go to the compendium, search it up in here, ogre zombie, and then click and drag it over. It'll say accepting drop from compendium. Let that bad boy go. And then now it's in there. The last thing you want to do is give it a token if you'd like. So to do that, you're going to find the token that you want um, and open up the sheet, click on edit. And now you can find the token that you want. Make sure that the token all is all set up beforehand. So for me, I want them all to have 59 health and I want it to be in red. So whatever state this token is in before I attach to a sheet is what it will be whenever I click and drag it out. So I'm gonna hit use selected token. There we go, I hit save. So now the sheet is there. I can roll attacks for it however I want to. I can roll saves, just clicking the words. Um, and then I can also add more by clicking and dragging them out. And then there we go. So now I can add more zombies if I want to. And there you have it. One last thing to make note of that I was almost going to remember was, what was it again? Oh, when you see their attacks, so see how you can see this attack here? This is associated with that ogre zombie character sheet. So if I want that to be invisible, you have to go to the sheet here, go to character sheet, click on this little setting bar, um, scroll down until you see whisper rolls to GM and put always whisper rolls. That way, none of the characters or other players will be able to see what is attacking the numbers. You'll just speak them out to them. Um, if you want to roll everything in front of them, that's up to you. So you can turn that off if you want to as well.